The immunologist duo of James Allison of the US and Tasuko Honjo of Japan won the 2018 Nobel Prize for Medicine. The two have won the prize for their research into how the body's natural defenses can fight cancer. Allison and Honjo figured out how to help the patient's own immune system tackle cancer more quickly. This is unlike more traditional forms of cancer treatment that directly target cancer cells, often leading to severe side effects. Uh, it used to be that, 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 these, that this therapy was given to late-stage patients who had no, no other options. Now it's the first choice for melanoma, for example. A patient starts on immunotherapy. Uh, rather than chemo or even the genomically targeted drugs. The only patients who get those are the patients who fail immunotherapy now, and I think that's the way many, many cancers are, are headed. The pioneering research has now led to treatments that target proteins made by some immune system cells. These proteins act as a break on the body's natural defenses, killing cancer cells. While announcing Allison and Honjo as the winner, the Nobel Assembly said the therapy has revolutionized cancer treatment and fundamentally changed the way how cancer can be managed. Well, the significance is that for a long, for many different types of cancers where there was really no hope. If you had developed malignant melanoma that had spread, you may have survived for six months, not more. Now many, but certainly not all, but many of these patients are now long-term survivors. They have been followed up for a period of 10 years, the first treated patients, and it doesn't seem like the tumor is coming back. And this is very different from many different types of treatments. This was the first prize they'd ever given for cancer therapy. Uh, and so uh, they, they've given some for cancer, the causing cancer before, but this is the first time for cancer therapy. And I'd like to just give a shout out to all the patients out there who are suffering from cancer to let them know that, you know, they're, it's, it's, we, we, we are making progress now. We can. Uh, get durable responses in a, a fraction of patients with many, many different kinds of cancer. Allison and Honjo's research is decades old. In 1995, Allison was one of two scientists to identify the CTLA4 molecule as an inhibitory receptor on T cells, a type of white blood cell that plays a central role in the body's natural immunity to disease. Around the same time, Honjo discovered a protein on immune cells, the ligand PD-1, and eventually realized that it also worked as a break, but in a different way. Scientists have attempted to engage the immune system in the fight against cancer for more than 100 years, but until the seminal discoveries by the two laureates, progress into clinical development was modest. Antibodies against PD-1 have now been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as an investigational new drug and developed for treating cancer. Research by Allison's team has meanwhile led to the development of a monoclonal antibody drug which was approved by the U.S. FDA in 2011 for the treatment of melanoma. <laughs> Allison and Honjo previously shared the 2014 Tang Prize, which is touted as Asia's version of the Nobels for their research. Other cancer treatments have previously been awarded Nobel Prizes, including methods for hormone treatment for prostate cancer in 1966, chemotherapy in 1988 and bone marrow transplantation for leukemia in 1990. The duo will share the Nobel Prize sum of 9 million Swedish kroner or about 1.01 million US dollars. Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.